Hi everyone, this is Fact Rocks, and this is going to be a special video cast today because the Visual Studio Team System, the 2010 version, has been released, and it's going to be the one that's going to replace the Microsoft Visual Studio 2008. And the beta is released, and, and Microsoft is giving it out for free, like it's doing for the Windows 7 RC right now. And I'm going to tell you fellow developers out there how to get it because this is actually a great chance to try out some Microsoft software that would usually co cost about a thousand dollars. So you're going to want to open up a version of Internet Explorer and you're going to want to navigate to this site Microsoft.com slash Visual Studio and by the way, I'm, I'm just putting the Visual Studio 2010 on a virtual PC because it's just a lot easier to manage because I'm not going to be using it that often and I don't want the, the beta messing around with my Visual Studio 2008 I have installed because I don't want to upgrade from the 2008 to the 2010 so we're going to go to product information right here and we're going to scroll and we're going to find the Visual Studio 2010 and then you're going to want to scroll down and you're going to want to download it right here Just give, give it a second and you'll see the options download Visual Studio 2010 professional team system I personally use a professional team system is kind of a little advanced so unless you're in like a big corporation I don't see why the reason of having team system it's really expensive so you're just going to want to select the version you want I'm going to prick I'm going to pick the professional edition simply because it is smaller than the team system and I'm running this on a limited virtual machine and you you're just going to want to select download and after you do that and after you run it you're going to see this thing right here after well you're going to fill in some information but you're going to come to this screen and it's basically going to install the studio 2010 on your computer now if you want to do an offline install meaning download like a uh, ISO image and run it from a CD or a DVD you're going to have to get these right here these are just parts of an image that you can get from the same place where you downloaded this so that was a quick vid on how to get the Visual Studio 2010 beta and as soon as I get this installed I'm going to have a quick tutorial on the differences between the 2008 edition and the 2010 edition so stay tuned